I just woke up this morning and I felt led to share with you a, uh, a thought that I had yesterday afternoon. Uh, Christy and I were out, we just went out driving in the country. And when I came back, the Lord kind of showed me that. Now this is a terrible drawing here, but it was uh, a drawing of the mountain of the Lord. And, and of course the Lord gave me the word last night and forgive me for the bad light. I, my office doesn't have blinds on it and the sun's coming in. Normally we, we film out here late in the evening. It's not a problem. But one of the things that I, I want to be able to share with you today is the Lord gave me this word. It's time to climb. It's time to climb the mountain of the Lord. So everyone says, well, what does that mean? What do you mean to climb? And so I'm going to try to build off that because I do sense there's some urgency of understanding the revelatory value of climbing in the Lord because it's connected to it's connected to everything we do. It's connected to our prayers, our proclamations, our decrees, our declarations, supplications, intercession, and our spiritual gifts. They all work from a spiritual atmosphere, which we'll call the top of the mountain of the Lord. But a lot of people don't know how to get to that top of the uh, mountain of the Lord. So I had a dear friend uh, text me this morning and said, I'm praying for you. And, and I just got the text in on my phone. And then I thought, you know what, I'm, I know we're not like this broadcast isn't uh, announced or anything, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and share because I think you need this. I, I think this is this is for you today. And uh, so I just want to be able to share it. I'm not going to take a real long time, but I wanted to share it with you. What she sent me was Psalms 18, 33. And it says, he makes my feet like the feet of a deer or like hind's feet. He sets me on my high places and teaches my hands to make war so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. And, and uh, there's so much that I'm going to be teaching between now and the end of the month about firing spiritual arrows. These are all arrows. These decrees and proclamations, uh, intercession, these are arrows that you fire in the spirit that a lot of this terminology may be new new to some of you. But when he says, I make my feet like a deer's feet, what happens is our, our feet in the, in the flesh are too big to climb the mountain of the Lord. So he doesn't like shrink our feet, but sometimes it feels like our soul is going through a, like a pencil sharpener and, uh, and, and, you're, and, and you're getting whittled down. But it's so that your character can fit into the little, uh, uh, um, what do they want to call it? Like little, little parts of the, uh, in the rock where you can put your foot to be able to stand, even though it's very dangerous. But anyway, I want to just kind of practically share with you what, uh, the Lord showed me yesterday when Christy and I were out in the country. If you're going to climb the mountain of the Lord, step number one, step number one is you have to prepare in his rest. Okay. And I'm going to walk you through this in a minute. So you, you, everything has to be done from a place of rest. And like I taught last night, there has to be a restructuring. So if you notice, there's rest here as well. So you have rest here and then you have rest restructure. You have rest here and then you have restore. And all these has to do with his rest, his rest, his rest. But what is restructure? Restructure means that you have to be structured or in position or in covenant with or in association with a structure of people. Uh, you want to call it a network uh, uh, influencers that are around you that are confirming his rest, helping you stay at rest and not getting you into disrest. Does that make sense? So you have to have a restructure. And, and so the way like a spiritual covering works, a spiritual covering covers you when you get out of rest. So that, and but will also speak, correction is love. And it will speak correction to get you back into rest so that you can be restored. Because anytime the enemy takes something or steals something from you, you have a legal right to put a demand up here in the tops of the courts of heaven you have a legal right to put a demand on him to pay back seven times. And uh, so, 
anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to take you just through a prayer in a minute, but first place you start is in his rest. Then you have restructuring, which I can't do that. I mean, you're going to have to analyze like, okay, what's causing me to speak against my promise. Okay. And, uh, and then the next step is to restore. You've got to climb to, you got to climb this, you got to climb this by faith. Okay. Because here's the thing is it was counted to Abraham, Abraham's righteousness, you know, Abraham lied, Abraham had issues, but Abraham, his righteousness was accounted to him because of his faith. So you have to have faith for the restoration to come and then redeem, redeem. There's only one redemption and this is the blood of Jesus. Okay. So there, so we're going to do that today. And then when we get to this fifth stage, then what happens is we enter into the mountain we have climbed. The Lord has done this. He says, I've made your feet like hind feet to set you in the high place, in the place where you can pray, proclaim, decree, supplicate, intercession, and other things. But I just said, I ran out of room here. But so that you can do these things effectively. So you actually have deliverables. See, because what happens is a lot of people will, will make all these prayers and stuff from this part of the mountain right here, you're making all of these, uh, and there's not, so So here you are, you're making a decree here, and it's not coming to pass because the people you are networked with or structured with are speaking doubt and unbelief against it. That, that's why I struggle personally, like, and I know many of you do this, and you think there's power in numbers and stuff, and, and that's fine, but like if, I, if I'm going to, to move a mountain, if I'm gonna mountain, I only let key people know because I want people that are actually up in this part of the mountain praying. I don't want people who aren't, aren't at rest. I don't want people that have bad structures, which means they have no discipline. They have no control over their mouth. They speak against leadership. They speak against, friend. they just speak against everything. Well, you know, they need some restructuring and the thing is, they demand to be restored of the Lord, but restoration of the Lord only comes from the blood of Jesus when it's spoken up in this part of the mountain. Everything down here just brings confusion and calamity and noise. That's why the scripture says, I'm going to make your feet like deer's feet, set you on my high places to teach you how to make war. When you make spiritual warfare, the only place you can make warfare is up on the top of the mountain. This is God's mountain up here. This is the only place you can make war. As long as you're out of what rest, your structure is is got sin in the camp, then don't expect to be restored and don't expect redemption of what's been stolen because in order to get to where it is actually redeemed is up here at this part of the mountain. So anyway, let's go there right now for time's sake. I'm just gonna share with you how we get there and, and we'll actually do it today so you can kind of have this experience. So we come to you, Father God, in the name of Yeshua. And Lord, we take your precious blood and we cleanse ourselves from the top of our head down to the bottom of our feet. Amen, Lord. And we actually ask you, Lord, to redeem us from all sickness, all curses, hex and vexes. Redeem us, Lord, from all witchcraft. Lord, redeem us from, from anything, Lord, that has, that has hindered us from being able to go up and climb this mountain today. Lord, your word says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So Lord, we do, we say so. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, to cleanse us. We confess our sins, confess your faults. Lord, I confess that I'm a sinner. I, I confess that Lord sins known and unknown. I ask that you redeem me and cleanse me from my sin. Lord, as I prepare to climb into the mountain of the Lord, I prepare my, I put on the full armor of God. Lord, I, I put on the belt of truth and I, the belt of truth is that in your rest and I am structured properly in your apostolic authority, Father God, you will restore and redeem me. And Lord, as I pray, proclaim, decree and supplicate to you, everything will be restored. Everything that's been stolen from me will be restored seven times. Thank you, Lord, for making my feet like hind's feet or deer's feet. Thank you, Lord, for welcoming me into the house of the Lord. That is the truth. Lord, I prepare my feet as I climb with the gospel because the gospel is the good news to climb the mountain of God. And that good news is my sins have been expunged so that the enemy 
cannot accuse me or push me off the mountain. I am welcome in the mountain because I am officially sinless. By faith, I proclaim the blood of Jesus and Jesus, Yeshua, is my savior. Holy Spirit, come and fill me that my gifts might operate this day in every aspect and every area of my life in Yeshua's name. Thank you, Lord, Father God. I put on the breastplate of righteousness. Lord, I am a king and a priest, according to the to Melchizedek. Lord, I put on the helmet of my salvation. Let the mind of, of Christ be in me this day. I take the shield of faith and I quench every fiery dart as I go through this process that would try to confuse, steal, or distract me from this prayer. Thank you, Lord. I also take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and I proclaim it over my life and in Yeshua's name. Amen. So now you're ready to climb because say, Lord, I am at rest. Go ahead and say in the comments, say, I am at rest. I'm prepared. Father God, I ask that you repair and restructure because you need to ask yourself, who are you yoked with? Who is, what's your covering? Is, is your covering effective for you? Is it, is it praying for you? Is it interceding? The reason you have a covering is because the, co the covering has the authority. I'm sorry for the light, but the covering has the authority to be able to pray over you based off the authority of what that ministry is called to do. That ministry is, is, is called at one level, and then, and, and so what level of authority? So you need to structure. Who are you praying with? Are you praying with people that have faith? Are you praying with people who are sanctified? You're praying with people who watch their mouth. And uh, there's so much of that going on right now. There's such a critical spirit coming against uh, and division. It's not just cancel culture. It's it's so much, but so you don't want to be, you want to be free from that. And Lord, if we have spoken against anyone, Lord, we ask that you redeem us from those words and unsnare us. That Lord, that we might turn by faith and ask you, Lord, we need to be restored. Lord, we proclaim and declare your word that says that when the enemy is found out and what he has stolen, he has to return seven times. So this morning, and I believe today we're going to have tremendous testimonies and you can testimony, uh, send your testimonies to KurtLandry.com. And, uh, but I really think that, that you're going to see some, some tremendous, um, uh, breakthroughs today. And so there it is right there. You can send your, uh, your testimonies to KurtLandry.com Go on the webpage. Okay. So, so now we're at rest. We're agreeing to restructure to walk with those of like likeness, like kind of faith. And Lord, we ask that we just prayed the prayer of restoration. Now, Lord, we ask that you redeem, just like David did when he was at Gilgal, he said to the Lord, Lord, what should I do? So I ask the Lord right now, you ask the Lord in Yeshua's name, by the blood of Jesus, should we go now and recover all? That's the word the Lord's telling me in February, it's a time for faith rewards where we are to be released and the Lord's going to recover all. That's what redemption is. So Lord, we ask that the blood of Jesus, you gave us a word and the word was, I will do this for my namesake. Lord, I ask that you do this for my namesake as I enter into the mountain of the Lord. See now you're, you are free and right now you are free to pray, proclaim, decree, supplicate, intercede, and declaration and operate in all the gifts of the spirit. This, this is the place you, you are now in that place where you have followed the instruction of climbing the Lord has, and now, and now it's time for you to fire those arrows of faith. So I'm going to, I'm going to pray. I pray for all Kurt Landry ministry partners, donors, house of David members, my olive tree sponsors. I pray for all of you and make a proclamation and a decree, and, and my supplication is this, is that we would stand together in unity and that, Lord, you would purify and sanctify Israel this day. Father God, as the threat builds with Iran and, and, uh, and, and the things that are happening are building in the Middle East, very dangerous times, dangerous for us, dangerous for uh, around the world. Father God, we ask that Psalms 91, we ask, Lord, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and that we would dwell and that we would remain safe 
And Lord, many Israelis are watching this right now, my Israeli friends, and we know that we're praying for your protection, your peace, and the wisdom for your leadership. And, and, the, and we're praying in the United States for the wisdom of our leadership not to curse Israel and bring a curse on this nation in Yeshua's name. So we pray this. So I pray for your family. I pray for protection. I proclaim over your family prosperity and health. You would be free from COVID. I decree that you will prosper and the Lord will add no sorrow to it. I supplicate for you and I ask that in the supplication of what you can't believe for, I set my faith into a place of intercession to where you're saying, you're saying, Kurt, I can't believe for myself right now. Well, I believe for you, even though you can't believe for you. See, I understand that you're hurting. I understand that you feel rejected. I understand that you feel like you're going around the mountain, around the mountain, and you never get to this place. Well, I pray that the Lord will make your feet like a deer's feet and take you to his high places every single day of your life. Now, I know you might not be able to believe for it, but as you're covering, I'm praying that and decreeing, I have faith for you. I have intercession. I'm interceding for you. I have intercession for this nation. I believe there's major breakthroughs coming in this nation. I am not discouraged. I, am, I, I was discouraged. I am not discouraged. God is going to shout. God is going to speak. God is going to intercede. I want my faith to be like Abraham's faith where it is accounted righteousness for us, for Kurt Landry Ministry partners and Kurt Landry Ministry donors, all of you at House of David, my olive tree, all of you, let's join together in faith and in supplication, interceding. And Lord, I just lay hands on each one of you and stir up all the nine gifts of the spirit, whatever that may be, that the Lord would put you on straight street. The Lord would make the crooked places straight. You would be on straight street. You would find your call. You would find your identity. You would find your purpose, that your destiny would be released and that your anointing would fall upon you right now in Yeshua's name, that the peace of God, that the favor of God, that the doors would open, that the tormenting spirits of doubt and unbelief that are causing you to have bad thoughts about other people and, and, and thinking badly and, and draining your energy. I break that assignment of witchcraft against you. I have break all occult structures. We are in the mountain of the Lord. We release the angels of the Lord to your home. We release the, the warring angels, the warring eagles that would come out from heaven to be released on your behalf, that this would be a day of, of victory. This would be a day of power and dominion. And this would be a day of the manifested power of God in your life in Yeshua's name, amen. And one of the most powerful things you can do in the mountain of the Lord is this. And so you wait just one second. I'm going to go ahead and blow the shofar uh, for you. But if you have your shofar nearby, let's go ahead and grab it. And if you're watching this later in the day, please just come in agreement and let's give it a blast. Ready? Hallelujah. Well, God bless you. Have a great day today. And uh, I feel so much better praying for you. Uh, anyway, join me Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central, and we'll be bringing the word of the Lord again. I apologize for the sun coming in the window. I was going to wait, but the Lord said, no, pray now. Somebody needed this prayer right now, and, and you need this day. This day, we proclaim over this day. Let's see. I don't even know what day. Oh, February the 3rd, the 21st of Shabbat, 5781. We declare in Yeshua's name that this is the day where we have a lifestyle of climbing the mountain of the Lord. 
We will enter his rest. We will restructure our life with people who have faith, like kind faith. And when we do that, we will be restored. By the blood of Jesus, we are redeemed and we are welcome as much as we want to be in the top of the mountain of the Lord for prayer, proclamation, decrees, declaration, supplications, intercession, operating in the gifts of the Lord, even just coming for intimacy, just to hang out with God and soak in his presence. Lord, thank you that this day I am welcome in the mountain of the Lord. God bless you and shalom.